All right, we're going to talk about post-season deer scouting. This is the middle of February here in Illinois. Season's been over for about a month. Get out, do your scouting. Vegetation hasn't grown up yet. Look for your trails. Rubs and scrapes are still easily noticeable. Bucks are dropping their antlers. Look for sheds. Keep your trail cameras out. Take notes of what you find. Go back, write down a piece of paper at home with what you know from last deer season combined with your new season deer scouting. You're going to have more success next fall. All right, folks. Perfect. The vegetation hasn't grown up yet. Here in another couple months, it's going to start greening. Briars are going to come out. But right now, trails are noticeable. Get out, find these trails for, before uh, fall approaches. Don't wait till August to try to find the trails. Get all your scouting done now. Come back later in the summer, fall. Just make sure nothing's changed. But look, right here, this trail is easily noticeable. If you can, keep your trail cameras out year round. It's gonna provide you valuable information. It's gonna show you why bucks survive the season. It's gonna show you their growth and for growth throughout the year. They're just fun to check on. Just keep them out if you can all year round. Lock them up if you have to so they don't, they don't get stolen. But these trail cameras, they're a valuable tool. Here's a nice shed I just came upon. Get out. Do some shed hunting, folks. You know, it's a great family activity. It's going to show you why bucks survived. This is going to be a nice 10 pointer next year. You know, where you find one shed, look closely, you're going to find the second. They're not going to go far before they drop it. Bucks are going to even feel lopsided and try to knock it off, rubbing into branches, trees, whatever they can, hitting the ground with it to knock it off. Look at bedding areas, trails, food sources, uh, fence crossings, creek crossings, anywhere they have to jump. That can easily jar an antler loose to the ground. Get out, look for shed antlers. Great activity for the whole family. Doesn't even require a license. All right, folks, as you can see here, here's a fresh, well, I wouldn't say a fresh scrape, but a scrape that is still noticeable from last season. And yeah, I, I believe that does and bucks are still out pawing and scraping at the ground this time of year. So yeah, I'm gonna go back to my original statement and call it fresh. But th this is a great sign. Take notes of where you found it. Keep uh, track of it all year round, all summer long, this area. Continue to uh, come back in the fall late summer, early fall, before season, just make sure nothing has changed. I'll be a good spot for a, a stand, maybe a ambush him before he ever comes and makes a scrape again. Have a stand in place, cut him off before he ever comes back to make a scrape again next fall. Folks, get out and do some scouting. You know, this middle of February, 53 degrees outside. Take your spouse with you, take your kids, get out of the house this Saturday. Go scouting for some deer, you're going to be a better hunter for it.